what would you consider the biggest success in the fight against COVID-19 in South Africa specifically, but in Africa in general? Well, I think there's lots of successes. I think the first thing in South Africa is our ability to have rolled out diagnostics to be able to, to test and, and, and diagnose COVID-19. Um, I think there's been rapid implementation of um, ways of, of trying to manage COVID in, in the hospitals, but even at a global level, um, besides steroids and half-low nasal oxygen, um, there's been little, very little progress made in, um, in, in as far as antivirals are concerned and therapeutics. So I think in terms of treating and managing um, COVID at a, at a global level, we still don't have enough um, um, drugs and therapies to, to minimize um, the impact, particularly when people have severe COVID. Um, I, I think at a, at, a, at a global level, the, the, the greatest um, uh, progress that we've made is obviously finding a vaccine. And I think for Africa, um, the biggest challenge um, will be to make sure that we get the right amount of vaccines in a timeliest fashion. And that's going to be our greatest challenge. So in terms of, of South Africa, um, I think um, 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 ensuring that, that the rollout starts and that we're able to vaccinate people. And um, maybe in that relation, what are your thoughts on COVAX? Do you think the COVAX initiative will help um, the African countries to combat uh, the COVID-19 pandemic? And, and if not, what are necessary reforms of the strategy in your opinion? The, I think the issue with COVAX is around um, supply. I think at a global level, there's a lack of supply. And so there'll be concomitant um, uh, reductions in entities like COVAX getting the right amount of supply. And so I think one of the limitations of COVAX is how much, exactly how much vaccine they can supply a country and also um, what is the cost of that vaccine and is it cheaper to do direct negotiations um, with pharma or the manufacturers rather than go through COVAX because there isn't a challenge with the amount of vaccines that you can get. And also for some places like South Africa, the cost of the vaccine that you may get and also the choice of vaccine that you can get. You advise towards the international community in terms of the fair distribution of vaccines. Well, I think the, the huge problem with the lack of um, access is the supply issue. Um, the demand outstrips the supplies and um, these vaccines aren't expensive. The J&J is $10 a shot and even the most expensive uh, vaccine is, is around $35. Um, that's much cheaper than a diagnostic, you know, so um, no one complains about the cost of an RT-PCR and the cost of making a diagnosis of COVID. The issue I think um, for me is rather is what are the issues around supply? How do we increase supply? Do issues of patents impact on supply? And if so, how? And if um, manufacturers are, are constrained by their, by their ability to supply, well, how do we unlock that? Yeah, and do you see there a local solution? In Africa, we lack manufacturing capability. Mm. And so, you know, we have um, a BioVac in South Africa, and then we have Aspen that will be doing fill and finish. And maybe we need a lot more of those, um, those you know, manufacturing capability. So um, we have to get our, our house in order on an African continent, and we have to make sure that we develop entities like the Serum Institute on our, on our continent.